guys, it's Mishy Beauty. I'm back and I'm back with two boxes. I have the Allure Beauty box and I have the Ipsy Beauty box. I got them in for the month of August and I got them, the Ipsy box I got today, the Allure box has been sitting around my house for about two weeks. So I've got the Allure Beauty box and then I've got the Ipsy box by BoxyCharm or whatever you want to call it these days. So what I'm going to do is I'm saying verses in the title, but there really is, it's going to be a side-by-side -side unboxing. I do have a clean face in case there's skincare or moisturizer uh, in it. I can use that. And if there's anything else in these boxes that I can use while on camera, I will do that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the one that I did receive first, and that is the Allure Beauty Box. I believe the Allure Beauty Box is $28 a month. If I am wrong, I will put it somewhere here. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. You do get some inserts in this box. Uh, this one for this month, it looks like this. Um, Guys, I do wear Invisalign and my teeth are shifting. So I do, I talked funny before, but I kind of mispronounced some of my, my words now, now that my um, teeth are shifting. So here is what the inside of the brochure looks like. There's just some articles in it. Uh, and it also talks about the actual uh, products and what they retail at. And it's really not so much just a description of the products, but people's quotes, how they see the product, how they use the product, and you know what the product's about to them. So that's your insert here. You get a shot now in the member store and save 10% off here. Uh, and then the box look like, looks like this on the inside. And it says, we know beauty best, and it has a little, writing right here and it talks about your swing by and say hi at the lure beauty box they put the instagram twitter facebook TikTok, and uh the youtube so let's go ahead and get started this does look interesting to me uh we've got a balanced skincare tula uh let's see protect and glow daily sunscreen gel broad spectrum SPF 30. I always want to see, say broadband whenever I see broad. But probiotics and superfoods. This is Tula. Is it upside down? All right, let's go ahead and pick the insert back up, the little brochure, and see what they're saying. This is definitely probably full size. Um, it's saying 50 ml is full size, and that is what this is. It's saying sunscreen is a non-negotiable step in your routine, and this silky option is as comfortable to wear as it is effective. So there is no hesitation when it comes to applying it daily. Squeeze the tube, and out comes pearly goop swirled with translucent bits of gel. Besides preventing sun damage, pineapple and papaya extracts gently exfoliate skin, leaving you with a luminous dewy finish. Apply the equivalent of two finger lengths to your face and neck. The non-greasy formula quickly melts into skin, creating a cooling sensation. So this will be good. I'm not going anywhere, it is nighttime, but let's go ahead and take this out of the box. It's called Protect and Glow. This is what the tube looks like. Again, it is 50 ml. And I didn't tell you how much it was. How do I take the top off? Let's see here. Do I screw it on? Oh, it's a screw off top. And I'm just gonna put a little on my arm here. So, cause sometimes I react to sunscreens so I'm just gonna put a little here, and as I unbox, I will see if I react. But it rubs in and it doesn't leave a white cast, 
or, or any type of cast for that matter. So that's great. It doesn't smell like the chemically sunscreens that you smell sometimes, but yeah, this is gonna be good. Protect and glow. It does leave a little bit of sheen to the skin and I'm not sure if you all see it, but there is a little bit of sheen here, which is pretty cool. It says protect and glow. All right, that was, let me find it again, $38 for the full size. That's $38. Um, the next item is, you know what, let's go to, it'll probably be hard to keep up, so keep up. Let's switch over to Ipsy and see if there's something in the Ipsy. Boxy Charm by Ipsy. So Ipsy is, I forgot, actually, I'll put it right here somewhere across the screen so you can see it. So let's go ahead and, and pull out what appears to be a skin item here. Selfless by Hiram. Everyday product purchased provides someone with a year's clean drinking water. Okay, so it goes to a good cause. This has niacinamide and maracuja, maracuja, yeah. Um, daily Barrier Support Moisturizer Hydrant. This is a moisturizer. I think hydrant was uh, beginning another language there. All right, so this is 50 ml as well. But yeah, this is a full size 50 ml. Most of BoxyCharm by Ipsy or Ipsy, Ipsy by BoxyCharm, they do have full size products. But let me go ahead and get the um, price. Guys, I had to drag my computer right there so I can see. I look really bad, guys, because, you know, the age thing and I get no sleep and the indention is clear here that I need to start getting more sleep. So this is what this moisturizer looks like without the, so I guess you, you're saying you can use it night and day. So let's see what it's saying. Uh, this unique gel cream is here to give your skin the support it deserves with a silky finish that doesn't rely on silicone. That's a good thing. It sinks into your skin with helping to minimize the look of pores. Plus it's packed with powerful ingredients uh, like barrier strengthening niacinamide and skin soothing maracuja. I don't know, for those of you who have heard of that. So yeah, that. Um, let's see, morning and night, gently massage a pea size amount into your face and neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, this is $20.50. $20.50. So let's go ahead and put a little bit here. It's like a jelly gel type of thing. This much I'm gonna use. If I need more to bring down my neck, I will. So because I'm going to possibly put something on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this as a barrier between whatever it is I find that I can put on my face and and my skin. I do try to rub up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my neck. I don't think that that was enough to put, drag down my neck, because it, it pretty much absorbs pretty quickly. So I'm starting to get the age lines more a little bit on my a little bit more on my neck here so i do like to bring down the creams and stuff this these rings irritate when i try to rub my face with lotions and stuff it kind of rubs against my skin a little bit all right so my skin is a little bit tacky now this does leave the skin tacky there's not a real definitive smell to this. I 
All right, so now that I've used that, I put this from uh, Allure Beauty Box right here. Still no reaction, which is a good thing. So we've got Tula Skin Care SPF, and then we've got Selfless by Hiram Ni Niacinamide and Maracuja Moisturizer. All right. Now let's pull out, see if we can pull out similar products each time. Doesn't look like I'm gonna do similar here. Um, those were the most similar we could get with the, the two skin care. Um, here's also something that Allure Beauty Box had. And that is, oh, I forgot this, my rings rubbed up against my face here. This is Aqua Bomb Hyalucid 11% Serum by Belief. By Belief. All right, so let's see what this is. Let's pick up the Allure. This is another Allure product. Belief is here. This is $32 for 15 ml. This is only five ml, so this is not a full size. Hyaluronic acid has, be, has become known as a superstar ingredient for its uh, hydrating powers. And there are five different types of blend, five different types blended into belief serum for maximum dewiness. Uh, la, la, la. Let's see, okay. So after cleansing your skin, of course, you can use this morning and evening. $32 for the full size. $32 for the full size. So let's just see this little bitty one. This is what it looks like. 5 ml of this. And I really am not going to mix it with what I've got here. I'm not going to do that. It's a little pump. Okay, this is a clear gel. Clear. Um, I didn't expect to have that much come out. Looks like I will be mixing. Uh, not ideal. I, didn't, I don't think that's an ideal thing to do when you put... I mean, some people use a lot of skincare, but uh, like layers of it. But I don't like doing that because I have sensitive skin. So it's because some of those ingredients might react with each other. So I'm real careful. So that is this one. Belief. All right, that came out of the Allure Beauty Box. Um, and again, the full size was, would have been $32 for 15 ml. All right, so the next skincare product I can take out is Mitchell and Peach English Growers Body Souffle. And I can use this right now. My elbows are ashy, my hands are ashy, everything. So we can use that right now. All right, let's see. What is Ipsy saying about this one? All right, so what they're saying for this one, uh, this lightweight moisturizer is like a drink of water for your skin, but even better, that's because it's packed with vitamin E, shea butter, and honey. It helps to nourish, soften, and protect your precious skin. And it said, and did we mention it smells divine? Well, let's just see. This here is 3.38 fluid ounces. which is 100 ml, I, I didn't know if I was reading that right. 100 ml, so this is a $40 product. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ring off, or should I say rings, because this is actually three rings together. I actually bought these rings when I was vacationing in Savannah. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, it's got a safety seal. I 
do have the dryness that shows here. Looks like it's disappearing. Yep, got rid of that. Oh, it smells fresh. It's got a, oh, I can't put my finger on it. As it says, it's filled with the brand's heavenly Flora Number no. One fragrance. Flora Number no. One fragrance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my elbows as well, on my arm. guys so it got rid of the ashiness that I did have and it does smell really good it's not really heavenly flora number one fragrance featuring rose ylang ylang violet and lavender so you'll be transported to a blissful garden with every application it, it does smell. It, does, it smells like something I haven't smelled before. So, yeah. All right. So, this came out of Ipsy. Let's revert back to we got another skincare item from Allure Beauty Box. This I don't know if this is the full size. Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. This is, can't be a full size of this. All right, let's see what they're saying about this. It's right here. So it's saying, vanilla company using Clean It Zero 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. Removing stubborn waterproof mascara and full coverage base products can feel like a chore. But this hydrating cleanse effortlessly melts it away for a pampering makeup removal process. You scoop out a nickel-sized dollop and massage it onto dry skin. Add a splash of water to emulsify. Rub a bit more and rinse thoroughly. All right. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if my skin likes the lotion I just put on it. I'm starting to get itchy. You see how some people react to certain chemicals? I'm just waiting to see if I whelp up or get rid or anything. I don't know. We'll see. The products seem nice, but unfortunately not everybody's skin reacts great. Um, so yeah, this is a cleanser and this is what it looks like. So I'm not going to dig into that. It doesn't have a, a clear smell to it. So the full size of this is $19 for 100 ml. This is not the full size. All right. So let's move back to something. No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. And this is out of the Ipsy box. Let's go ahead and unmask this one. It is in a weird box. So bear with me. Guys, give me a shout out if you like raccoons at all. I've just been loving looking at videos <laughs> of raccoons doing silly things and doing smart things. All right, so this is a very interesting bit of packaging. It is a bronzer, cream bronzer stick. Let's see what. So it's in this shape. Oh, ah. Okay. All right. 
this. So I kind of got it on the inside, but look at that. It would be my shade to make a bronzer. It got clipped on the edge there, but this is a very interesting. Okay, maybe I can use this. I don't know how you'd make it go up and down. Oh, look, it, it turns like this. So I'm almost scared to put the top on it again, but I do have to, to put it back. I don't understand why I can't make it go down more. Huh. I don't want to break it. Why is it sticking out like this? I don't understand. It's a lot sticking out. I don't, I can see this getting messy a little bit if you don't pay attention to how you're taking it out. So this says LYS. Yeah, I like the shape, but I don't know how practical it is. Um, let's go ahead and read about this. This would be online that I have to uh, go back to here. All right, LYS Beauty No Limits Cream Bronzer, bronzer Stick $20, 7.1 grams is the full size, and I'm almost certain that this is the full size. There's no limit to gorgeous you can achieve with this bronzer. It effort, effortlessly, I don't like saying that word, obviously. It effortlessly sculpts, defines, and warms up your complexion giving you that coveted glow no matter the season. For instant warmth, gently blend the bronzer wherever the sun would naturally hit. All right, LYS. It's a clean beauty brand is what that is. So $20, this one's $20. Maybe I'll put that on as well. All right, I'm turning back here to the Allure Beauty Box. We're pulling out something uh, by Laritzi Cosmetics. I don't have too much from them, but I do get some products from them. Don't have too much from them. This is a, a lip gloss. It has the Canada symbol there, so maybe it's from Canada. This shade is called Curve. And let's see what they say in the little thingy here. Lip gloss in curve. That must be the color or the shade. It's saying most glosses feel sticky at first wipe, but Laritzi makes lips feel pillow soft. La la la, a touch of this mauve pink delivers a sheer wash of color. Okay. $16 for one ounce, which I'm sure that's what this is. So let's go ahead and take this out because now this is the Allure box we're back to. And I do have a, a another color in here. I thought that there was, yeah. There's another lip product in the Ipsy box. So that's this color. I'm not sure if I want to go with this color right now. I don't think I want to. This is, um, they're saying this is $16. This might be too deep right now for me to wear. But I am not sure. Let's see, bottom lip. No. Smells like cake batter. Okay, this is the bottom. And I'm gonna put the other one on the top when I get to it. So I won't, I won't close my lip because I'm gonna put the other one on the top and we'll see what kind of shade that is. So $16 for the Laritzi Cosmetics, and I believe this is a Canadian brand, simply because it does have the Canadian flag on the back. All right, 
So this was, let me get my bearings. This was the Allure Beauty Box. Now let's just go ahead while we're on the subject of that lip gloss and set and look at Il Maquillage. Now this is the packaging on this because I did take a sneak peek. The packaging on this, when I take it out, you'll see is very high end looking. Very high end looking. It almost looks like um, what is that lady out of Dubai? Uh, I'll think of her name. It looks like something she'd have. So let's see what this is about. I'm gonna get to the account here. All right, lip service lip gloss in PDA. That's the name of the shade. $27 for a full size. That's what this is, 7 ml. Give your lips the VIP treatment they deserve with the pink glaze. Um, so they're saying luxurious creamy formula delivers a, a luscious high shine finish. All right, without any stickiness. That's what they're both claiming, no stickiness. So let's go ahead and put that one on the top. This is, they almost resemble each other a little bit. Oh, this is more pinky. I can't put my lips together. I can't do it because I'm not gonna do it till the end. So I'll show you guys the top and the bottom. Again, this is the, I really like this packaging. All right, you guys take a look at the top, which has Il Maquillage lip gloss and the bottom has the Laritzi. That was different fingers. Can you tell the difference? Il Maquillage, Laritzi. The gloss is almost the same, just from first glance. Now I put them together. So those were quite the same in shade. Um, although in the package, the Laritzi color looks deeper, a lot deeper than the pink in the Il Maquillage. But they feel almost the same, but I like the feel of the top lip just a little bit more than the bottom lip, but they're very, very close in the way they feel on the lip. So let's move on. Uh, and they, just to let you all know, they both came in a glass type of um, packaging, the lip glosses do. The Il Maquillage was a heavier, much heavier uh, type of packaging. So let's go back to the uh, Allure Beauty Box, and there is something called Wow, Color, Color Wow, okay, Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. So I don't wanna put it, it looks like something for here, but don't quote me. Um, let me go ahead and get the, okay, here we go. It's right here, wow, see? Um, Color Wow Dream Coat. Ah, inside this tiny bottle is liquid gold for those prone to frizz and flyaways. This smoothing styler forms an invisible shield on your hair, um, like a raincoat against humidity. As soon as it's activated by the heat of your blow dryer. Okay, this is something you put on your hair before you blow dry it. Um, 
Saturate every last strand of damp hair with this soothing formula. All right, la la la. Style as usual for glossy hair that can that could compete with a shine on a candy apple at the state fair. Okay, whatever. $28, $28. And guys, the Laritza, um, I didn't say the Laritza uh, lip gloss was $16. The um, Il Maquillage was 27. So the Il Maquillage felt a lot more expensive than it is, $27 versus 16. Anyway, this is $28, $28. So yeah, 28, let me see. Does this have a smell to it? I almost wanna spray it on my hair. Doesn't really have a scent. I'm still smelling that other lotion that I had, but it really doesn't have a scent. Not, yeah. And it doesn't seem oily when I touch my hair. Look at that. So it looks like it does its job without being oily. So yeah, this is $28 for 6.7 ounces. And uh, this is not full size. This is not full size. This is uh, this is 1.7, 1.7. Okay, so this is in the Allure Beauty box. All right, let's switch back over to the. It doesn't look like I got. I don't know. It doesn't look like I got any eyeshadow, but I'm not sure. It's looking like this is a face palette that I'm opening. But sometimes face palettes have eyeshadow in it. Ciate London Brazilian Glow Eye and Face Palette. See? Eye and Face Palette. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. This is from the Ipsy Box. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So outside packaging, I always love the little bow on their packaging. Signature bow there for them. This is the packaging once you open the box. And what is it saying here, $29. Uh, full size, which I'm guessing this is for the palette. This is an all-in-one palette, has everything you need for a bronze and beautiful look. From a blurring finishing powder to a glow boosting bronzer, a matte blush to a shimmering highlighter, and even three versatile eyeshadows. This multitasking wonder has got you covered from day to night. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we can use this. Um, I'm going to, hmm, don't know how I'm going to use this. I know these are the shadows you can use, but I am going to probably use my own face powder, powder and go straight to the bronzer before I use any of these. I'm not gonna swatch any of these, but it does tell you on the back what these are. So, I've got one more item, or should I say items that really um, count as one. But uh, I've got one more item in the Allure Beauty Box that I'm gonna show you and I'm probably gonna use. Uh, these are brushes. But uh, again, this is $29. This is a British Beauty Blank, British Beauty Band brand, the Ciate London. So it's a British Beauty Brand. I think I knew that, obviously. Um, 
So yeah, $29 for this. We're gonna see how it goes. It has mixed reviews. Why did somebody give it one star? Oh, I have two pots in the palette that are missing. The other shades are good. <laughs> okay, I don't know, they're personal. Person. So we have from the Allure Beauty Box, we got these three brushes and they are by LaRousse. It says made in China, dual fiber. Why do they all look the same? So I'm gonna pull, push them out. I have, I have some like this um, of this brand, not like these, but I don't want to take them like seriously out. Like I just want to take the tips of them out. I'm pushing them to the top so you can just see the shape of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and read what they are. These two look eerily the same. Maybe this is bigger than this one? I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what happens here. Let's, let's read it. The Roos LR304 Angle Brush for the cheek, oh, that's the cheek. They gave me two. That's why it looks the same. I got two brushes of the same, and you're only supposed to have two. They gave me three brushes all together. I don't think they were supposed to do this. Like magic wands, more than makeup tools, the soft, fluffy bristles on these two, on these two brushes, there's obviously three here. Uh, blend out your favorite powders and creams. So such, let's, let's try this again. Like magic wands, more than makeup tools, the soft fluffy bristles on these two brushes blend out your favorite powders and creams to such perfection. It looks as if professionals, uh, professionals has done your makeup. That doesn't sound correct, but okay. Grammatically anyway. So yeah, this is, let me pull one out. The handle, I like the handle. Feels good in the hands. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to use them for. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get a brush that I can use for the bronzer, the cream bronzer. Um, I'm not good at, at cream bronzer, but I'm gonna try. Now, I, I have natural dark area here, so all I'm going to do, oh wow, might be a little bit too dark. Just gonna put this back here. I'm not gonna put it anywhere else. And I'm gonna try to, I tried to carefully put it back. So I'm gonna go get a brush for this. No, kitty. The brush is, by the way, $48 for the set. And I got an extra one. So maybe I'll put it in again. All right, guys, let's try this out. I've got some, a Daily Dew Stick. Uh, with tangerine oil from e.l.f. I'm gonna use to blend out my look. And I've got this AF94 Playdate multicolor, multi-use lip. <laughs> that was my daughter sneezing. This is what I'm going to use for the uh, cheek area. I'm not a fan of when people put dots on their face or lines on their face. But I'm gonna do it.
guys, I am back and I'm glowing a little bit too much if you ask me. Um, I do not have, I'm wondering if I can take it down a notch with this powder that's in here. Uh, but I did put on, you guys saw what I put on my face. Let me try to take down the glow a little bit. Um, I keep putting it in. Let me see if I can calm it down a bit. But yeah, so I used in this palette, um, I didn't use the blush, so let me, the blush is kind of powdery. Um, I know I had some cream blush on, a blush stick, but I didn't try the blush powder that was in here. Um, but yeah, let me just, I'm trying to cut the shimmer down or the shine down, and I think I uh, made a mistake with the uh, spray that I put on my face. I think that's where where I went wrong, is that I put this, um, it is a Tint, T-Y-N-T, Afterglow Priming Face Oil Mist. Don't think I should have put it on, but usually it helps melt everything together well when I put that on. Uh, I just think that it also uh, kind of makes everything look shiny, a little bit too shiny. And I did use the highlighter that's in the pan as well. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, so yeah, I finished my face with some, well, I used every single eyeshadow. I used the highlighter. I didn't use this side. And I used a little bit of the blush you just saw and this, which they're calling that the Palm Beach Sheer Glow Face Perfector. So that's another glow but it, it still took it down just a little bit. I did put some um, Yves Saint Laurent, I think it was, um, what do you call it? Mascara on. Um, I did put some brow gel on, um, and then I used a little bit more of the lip gloss from Il Maquillage. I put more of that lip gloss on. Um, I, you saw in the beginning what I did with the bronzer. I think I put too much bronzer on, but by the time I worked it in, um, I believe it was a little bit too dark, uh, deep for me, that bronzer. It was a little bit too deep for me in my opinion, but it worked out. Um, I don't understand how people on these TikToks and Instagrams, and maybe I need to perfect it, but I don't know how they put all of that stuff on their face and use one brush without smearing everything everywhere. And if I'm wrong, do they use more than one brush? Maybe. Speaking of brushes, unfortunately I wasn't able to use these. I got more than one, and I think I'm gonna put one of these in the giveaway. So yeah, I still have yet to have a giveaway. I keep talking about having a giveaway. Man, am I bronzy and shiny. But yeah, I keep talking about having a giveaway and I have not gotten one. But as far as the uh, probiotic, I'm definitely gonna put that to use. Uh, all the stuff that I put on my skin, um, that you saw me put on my skin, they have not irritated. Um, the other stuff that I told you was making me itchy, that eventually stopped. And I forgot what that was. But yeah, so everything seems to be working out fine. Um, this is an okay palette. It's okay. Um, I should not have used that spray. Um, I should not have used the dew stick. I think that was overkill. Um, 
And then my Pixie, my Pixie H2O skin tint. Again, you guys, I plan to get the uh, Fenty Beauty skin tint stick that they have out. It's Ease skin tint stick, E-A-Z-E, -E, I think, is in the title of that. But yeah, I do have texture to my skin, not because of what I put on that was going on prior to that, but I do have a little texture uh, to my skin here. Yeah. And I'm not sure, maybe it was irritated even more by the fact that um, I did clean my face just prior to sitting here, I'd say about an hour ago. And sometimes when I use a facial cloth or a, a washcloth, which I did, it can make my skin react a little bit. So, but guys, everything that is in these boxes I did show you. What do you think about the side-by-side -side unboxing? Let me know what you think of that. What do you, do you want to see that? Do you want me to wait until I get at least two boxes in and then unbox them side-by-side? -side? I think it's kind of interesting. And then using both, unboxing them with comparable products and then using what I can from both on my face. I think that's pretty cool to do that. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to keep everything except uh, not sure about the hair. And then, of course, I have another, an extra makeup brush in there. Uh, but for the most part, I think I'm going to use everything. Okay, so that is it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on both of those boxes. Do you want to see me do more uh, this versus this or this side by side unboxing? Just let me know. Um, go ahead and give me a like if you like this video, found it helpful. Give me some comments on what you thought about the makeup. So we will see in the next one. I think the next one I'm gonna do is probably gonna be with that Fenty skin tint. Uh, I'm really wanting to use sticks. I think they're really good on the go, but a lot of these sticks, they tend to be a little heavy on and they're not like the liquid skin tints or anything so let's see how this stick compares to like the skin tint that I can put on out of the bottle the liquid so let's just see what happens with that um, I'm probably gonna purchase online at Sephora this skin tint and then you know pick it up but yeah but anyway, let me know your thoughts on what I just did. Take a look at the rest of my videos. See if it's something you like if you're new here and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.